Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing y'all what I bought from e.l.f. I got 24 things and my total was under $55. So without further ado, let's go see what I got. So the first thing I see is this brush. This is a small tapered brush is what they call it. Let's see, let's take it out of the package. And I'll put the prices on the screen of everything I got so you can know how much I paid for it. Ooh, that's super soft. And I got this because I needed something a little flatter to kind of pack the powder underneath my eye. So I thought this would be great for that. So next, I see another brush, and this is the Beautifully Bare Stipple Brush. And that's what it looks like. Let's see. Let's see how it feels. It's soft as well. Now, this one I got for like cream blushes. These type of brushes are really good for putting on cream blushes with. Next, we have the Beautifully Bare Smooth Matte Eyeshadow. Let's open it up and see what color it is. So this one is the color Blushing Rose. Oh, and it's a real pretty mauve color. I love this color. This is like my wheelhouse for color. Mauve is my favorite. So the next thing I got is the Color Everything Concealer in Light. And that is what it looks like. And this, I'm hoping it... It may be a dupe for something. If it is, I'll let y'all know later. Oh yeah, that's super creamy. And that's what it looks like on my hand. Alright, let's see what else we got. The next thing is the moisturizing lipstick in the color, I think, Pink Minx. Ooh, that's a pretty color. That's what it looks like. Let's do a little swatch. Ooh, it's definitely more pink than what I thought. It'll be very pretty. And if I want to darken it up a little bit, I'll just put like a brown lip gloss over the top of it to tone it down some if it's a little too bright for me. So this is the Metallic Lip Crayon in Radiant Rogue. And that is what it looks like. Let's take this cap off. It looks like, ooh, that's pretty. This one right here. I like that color. Hmm, can't wait to use that one. Okay, the next thing I got is the Precision Concealer Sponge, and that is what it looks like. Alrighty. That's where that one was a sponge. The next thing I got was the blending sponge and concealer. I've heard a lot of good things about their sponge cleanser. So I'm really excited to try it. That is what it looks like. And then that's the sponge. It's already pretty soft. I bet it's going to be even softer once we put some water on it. So the next thing I got is the shimmer highlighting powder in Topaz Glow. Ooh. And that is what it looks like. That's going to be really pretty. You see it right here. A really natural shimmer. It doesn't have like flakes of glitter in it or anything like that. That's going to be really pretty. So next we have some eyelashes. And that's what they look like. These are pretty. We'll have to try them out soon too. The next thing is the eyeliner and blending brush in deep brown. On my eyes today, I actually have their um, breakup proof eyeliner in brown on. And I really liked it. It went on really smooth and it was super affordable as well. That glides on really good too. See it right there? Let's see how the little blendy brush blends it out pretty good too. Hmm. And that's what the little brush looks like and that's the little thing really like how this is set up so next we have the pop of glitter gel I'm not really a gel glitter person but thought we might as well try it mm, a 
and that's what it looks like. This is the rose gold color. Let's watch it on my other hand since we're running out of room on this one. Alrighty. That is a very sheer but pretty color. I might just see what it looks like on top of other eyeshadows. So next up we have the No Budge Eyeshadow Stick in Rose Gold. I'm noticing I've got a lot of rose gold stuff. Apparently, <laughs> I have a favorite. <laughs> rose gold and mauve. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. You can see it. It kind of blends in with my skin. But that is so pretty. This would even be a good inner corner color. And it would be super easy just to kind of put it in your corners with this. You wouldn't even have to get a brush or anything out. So next up, we have the multi-dimensional shimmer 80s vibe palette so this is the colors in that palette let's swatch a few of them and see how they swatch so it has pretty good pigment i really like elf eyeshadows palettes they are super affordable and they last really well too especially if you put their primer on first it really um helps them hold up longer and next we have the Flawless Concealer in Fair Beige. And that's that color right there. I really like their Camo Concealer. It's one of my favorite, but sometimes I don't need something that heavy and that thick for the look I'm going for. So I thought I like the Camo Concealer. Might as well try the other ones out too. So the next thing we have is the Cream Eyeliner in coffee. It comes with this little bitty brush right here. Let's see how it does. This blush applies it, applies it really well and this is that one right there. So it's a good bit darker than the first one I got. This one would be really good for like a deep smoky brown eye and then the other one would be really good for like a day when I don't want a super harsh line on my eye. Just kind of an everyday look. I'd probably go with that one over this one. So next up we have the Beauty Shield Antioxidant and Rich Skin Protectant Lipstick in Berry Black. So that's what the packaging looks like. I really love this packaging. And, ooh, let's see. That is the color. I'm running out of places to swatch. Ooh. See that? I love this. Wish I didn't have lipstick on so I could put it on. It felt super creamy. So next up, oh, they gave me a hand sanitizer. And next we have the Best Friend Eyeshadow Duo in Pink Pal. And that is what those colors look like. This one is supposed to be, supposed to be a matte and a shimmer. But the shimmer ain't so shimmery. Hmm. Not too sure about this one. We'll see. Next up, we have the lightweight concealer in Fair. Whoops. I'm back. And it just rolls in and out. Let's see. Since that other concealer is right here, let's put it right beside it. You see the difference? This one a little is a little more pinky and this one's a little more yellowy. So the pinky one is the one in the tube and then this one is the one that's a little more yellow. Next up, we have the Sheer Blurring Under Eye Primer. This one also has hyaluronic acid in it and that is what it looks like. I guess this is just kind of like a one color fits all kind of thing. But it goes on sheer. So that's the color in the pan. But when I put it on my hand, you can't see it. So I'm anxious to see how that works. Next up, we have the No Budge Eyeshadow Stick in Metallic Mocha. I'm seeing fall vibes in this box. Everything's been dark and brown and mauvey and rose gold. Let's put it next to that other color we got. 
Ooh, those will be really pretty together. Okay, so this is this color, and that is the first color I showed you. That would be a beautiful eye color together. And these are really creamy. Can't wait to play with them on my eye to see how they actually blend out and hold up and that kind of stuff. So next we have the Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in Pinky Swear. I haven't did a pinky swear since like middle school. Maybe elementary. I wasn't really a pinky swear. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, that's a super pretty color. So right here. I don't know if it's showing up as glittery as what it is, but that is super shimmery. I love it. But as you can tell from my eyes today, I do love some glitter. Next up, we have the Primer Infused Shimmer Blush in Always Breezy. And that is what it looks like. Ooh, that feels really good. Where to put it? Let's see. That is it. That is a really pretty color. All right, let's move on to what we got next. Next we have also another blush. It is the Luminous Blush in Glowy Rose. This one definitely has more shimmer than the other one. Let me show them y'all together. See? This one definitely, I guess, lives up to its name. It sure is glowy. Let's see if we can swatch these. Okay. See this right here? That is the one I'm showing you, and that's the one I just had. So this one, even though it's super bright in there, it's definitely more sheer on your face. All right, so next up we have the Baked Highlighter in Apricot Glow. And that is it right there. It's kind of blending in with my skin. But you can see a little bit of a shimmer there. It is a pretty, like goldy folly highlight which I tend to navigate towards the <laughs> gold and rose gold colors because obviously I think that's what looks best for my skin as you should get what looks best on your skin then next we got some faux mink lashes and these jokers are we need to pull them out of the pack Can you see? These are going to be awesome. I hope they go on smoothly. They are super soft. I so cannot wait to try these. So our last two things in our box is a matte lip color in wine. These are super creamy. And I love that color. I love fall because I get to start wearing my real dark lips and, and bolder makeup. and Because summertime, you want to do more glowy and light looks. I mean, if I'm just being honest, I still do full glam in summer too. I'll do full glam and just walk around the house with nowhere to go. Which is pretty much how things have been for months. Because we're in September and quarantine started in March. So, last but not least is the Elf Shimmer Palette. This is a very, like, sturdy palette. Oh, and it even has a little mirror. So, it's got a little brush in here. That's what the colors look like. Oh, and they're super creamy. I was not expecting it to be creamy. This is hard to do with my left hand. I'm like struggling. On my hand, they all pretty much look like the same color. You can see a little bit of variation in them, but not a whole lot. I'm anxious to see how these are going to hold up on my eyes and if they're going to crease really bad or what. Well, that is everything I got, guys. As I said before, everything I bought, the total was 
under $55. It was actually $54.20. I'm super excited to try these out and let y'all know how it goes. Don't forget, if you hadn't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And if you know somebody who would be interested in this video as well, don't forget to share it with them. And I hope everybody's having a great one. See you next time. Bye.